Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon students. How are you today? I hope all of you are fine. And hopefully God will always bless us and give us health. Students. Maybe you are wondering. Who am I? Actually I am Mr. Bayou. But not in real form. I am in animation form. This is me, students. Alright. Today I would like to explain you about a new material in chapter 4. What is it? Yes you are right. Conditional sentences. But before I explain you furthermore about conditional sentence, I will like to tell the learning objective of our lesson today. In the end of the lesson, the students are expected to be able to, 1. Understand the social function, text structure, and language feature of conditional sentences type 2 and 3. 2. Analyze the social function, text structure, and language feature of conditional sentences type 2 and 3. 3. Practice dialogue containing conditional sentences type 2 and 3. 4. Write sentence, text, or dialogue containing conditional sentence. That's our learning objective today. Next slide. Now let's talk about the social function of conditional sentence. Conditional sentences are sentences expressing factual implications, or hypothetical situations and their consequences. They are used to express an action in the main clause in the kalimat that can only take place if a certain condition in the subclause and a kalimat is fulfilled. Next slide. In this slide you will be shown by the text structure of conditional sentence, especially the application in the text of dialogue. Pay attention to the dialogue below. And now let's analyze this dialogue together to find the structure of the text. In the dialogue, Ron says, if I were you, I would buy a new phone. And the response of Josh, I would buy the new one if had more money. From the dialogue it seems that Ron gives suggestion or advice to Josh to buy a new phone, but it is impossible because Josh doesn't have money. And the dialogue Ron says, what if you start saving? And Josh gives a response, if I had a job, I would start saving. From the dialogue it seems that Ron gives opinion or suggestion to Josh to start saving, but it is also impossible, because Josh actually doesn't have a job again. Okay students. Do you understand it? I hope you understand. Now let's go to the next slide. Actually there are three types of conditional sentences. They are conditional sentence type 1, type 2 and type 3. Type 1 is usually called future possible condition. Type 2 is present unreal condition. And type 3 is past and real condition. But today we only focus discussing type 2 and type 3 because you have ever got type 1 in the 11th grade. Next slide. Conditional sentence type 2 is different with type 1. It states something or action or event that is contrary to the fact. This is possible but very unlikely, that the condition will be fulfilled. The pattern of type 2, subject plus would plus verb 1 plus, if plus subject plus verb 2 or, if plus subject plus verb 2, subject plus would plus verb 1. And the example, I would prepare dinner if I came home earlier. From this sentence we can make the fact that, I don't prepare dinner because I don't come home earlier. Or I don't come home earlier so I don't prepare dinner. And there is another way to write the fact sentence, like this, I don't prepare dinner because I come late. Next slide. Other example of conditional sentence type 2, if I were a bird, I would fly around the world. If subclause and a kalimat uses verb be, so all of subjects uses verb be, were. And the fact sentence from conditional sentence above. I am not a bird, human being, so I cannot fly around the world. Next slide. And now conditional sentence type 3. In this type, it states about a condition which is impossible to be fulfilled because it refers to the past. And the pattern, subject plus would have plus verb 3 plus, if plus subject plus had plus verb 3 or, if plus subject plus had plus verb 3, subject plus would have plus verb 3. And the example of this type. I would have watched the movie if I had bought the ticket. This conditional sentence has the fact, I didn't watch the movie because I don't buy the ticket. Or I don't buy the ticket so I didn't watch the movie. Next slide. Now we have come to the session of practicing dialogue. Please watch this video and practice it with your friend after it by using this following text. Next slide. So the conclusion of our study today, 1. Conditional sentence, type 2 and 3, is used to express an action in the main clause that can only take place if a certain condition in the subclause is fulfilled. 2. 
Conditional sentence can be applied in the dialogue functioning as suggestion or advice or opinion that is impossible fulfilled because of the certain condition. The patterns. Type 2. Subject plus would plus verb 1 plus. If plus subject plus verb 2 or. If plus subject plus verb 2. Subject plus would plus verb 1 in the pattern of type 3. Subject plus would have plus verb 3 plus. If plus subject plus had plus verb 3 or. If plus subject plus had plus verb 3. Subject plus would have plus verb 3. Okay. I think that's all about our material today. But before we dismiss this class, let me show you your assignment. Here it is. Make a dialogue that contains conditional sentences type 2 and type 3. Your dialogue should consist of 5 exchanges of the role at least. Submit your work to me next two week through Google Classroom. And in the next meeting you will have online test. Study chapter 2 and chapter 3. OK students. Thank you for attention. And see you in the next meeting. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.